In some breaking news just coming in, Madras High Court has adjourned the hearing on Karthi Chitambaram's case uh, till the 28th of July. The High Court is to check if the case falls under its jurisdiction as the case has now been filed by the CBI in Delhi. The FIR, in fact, that has been filed against Karthi Chitambaram in the national capital. Karthi Chitambaram had moved the Madras High Court uh, seeking the quashing of the FIR by the CBI in the INX media kickbacks case. Akshaya joins us for more details. Akshaya, just uh, fill us in with more information on just what will the Madras High Court first check before they resume hearing this case. Avantika, Karthi Chidambaram had filed a case saying that he should not be made part of this uh, case that CBI has filed. And what the Madras High Court has done is they've adjourned the case till July 28th, which gives Karthi Chidambaram a window period till 28th to not appear before the CBI for the in investigations in the INX media case. It is uh, alleged that Karthi Chidambaram was helping uh, the then uh, owners of INX media, which is Peter Mukherjee and Indrani Mukherjee, in getting funds from foreign uh, investments uh, to a tune of uh, rupees 300 crores while the company had rights only for 4 crores odd. Uh, so it seemed that uh, this was done at the time when P. Chidambaram, who is Karthi Chidambaram's father, was in the helm of affairs as a finance minister and it said that it, through his influence uh, the entire funding happened. Uh, but Karthi Chidambaram as well as P. Chidambaram have denied it and they've said that is a political vendetta which is going on and they've been framed in it. So the Madras High Court will be checking if they have a jurisdiction in uh, quashing a case which has been registered by the CBI and later on they will be giving a proper statement on July 28th is what is expected right now. But uh, for today the conclusion is that the Madras High Court has adjourned uh, the case filed by Karthi Chidambaram to quash uh, the case uh, and it will be adjourned till to 8, 28th of July. So till then, uh, till this matter remains uh, adjourned till the 28th of July, does that mean that, uh, you know, if there is another summon because the CBI had, uh, you know, asked him to join the probe uh, and had summoned uh, him in connection with the case of alleged misuse of foreign investment, till then, can the CBI question Karthi Chidambaram? Uh, I have seen that twice before Karthi Chidambaram was called. One was today and in an uh, earlier instance in May as well. Mm. But he has uh, denied appearing for both the summons. And okay. after that, he filed a appeal in the Madras High Court asking for a quasher. So till 28th, it's a window period for uh, Karthi Chidambaram to not appear before the CBI. Even if there's a summons, uh, he, even if he doesn't appear, it's still okay for him. So uh, it's very unlikely that Karthi Chidambaram will go and present himself if another summons is given by the CBI. All right, Akshaya, thanks so much for joining us.